guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're walking into this little space for the first time, I'm Priyanka and I make videos about everything. Now, so many of you have asked what to pack for Canada. So I'm going to literally give you a list right now that what you need to pack for Canada. Remember, this is completely my personal opinion and whatever I have got from Canada, uh, whatever I have got from India to Canada, it has been really useful. And had I got the same things from over here, it would have costed me a little more than that. But before getting into the video, I just want to let you know that in case if you book your tickets, you know, a month or two before and you get Jet Airways flight with the student visa option, you are going to be allowed three bags. So each bag will allow you to carry 23 kgs of stuff. So that is going to be 69 kgs plus seven kgs of cabin luggage and a personal purse or something of that sort. So do keep in mind that you are going to be carrying around 76 kgs altogether. So that is quite a lot. That is honestly a lot of stuff to carry, but I was not allowed that because I booked at the last moment and I booked through the Dutch airlines. If I clearly remember the, I'm really, I'm not really not sure about it. It's quite hazy now. So I was allowed 23, into two that is two bags that is 46 kgs plus seven kgs of the cabin luggage but i thought that was more than enough for me it packed my entire house inside that but in case if you think you're one of those people that need a lot of clothes a lot of other stuff then probably that option is better for you and mind you if you're booking your tickets right now for jet airways it's going to be around 95 97 thousand and it's going to be a lot so uh, be a little careful try to book a little ahead and in case if you are landing next week then all the very best if some of you will be landing this month or this week in fact i would suggest that get yourself a good winter attire when i say a good winter attire that means you need to get your thermal pants thermal t-shirts and you need to get a good thermal socks pair pair of socks sorry you need to get pair of gloves really warm ones Get yourself a good monkey cap or a beanie or something if you want and do not buy a jacket from India and come. It's not going to work or any other countries. If you think your country is, you know, going to give you really good jackets compared to what you get in Canada, do get it. But Indians, uh, please do not buy it from there. Come here, buy it over here. It's going to be a little expensive. You're going to say, oh, $200, uh, but that's okay. Your body is way more important. Don't worry about it. The money is going to sooner or later come back. So get your jackets from here. The other thing I would suggest is pack like three to four pair of jeans because that is the maximum you're going to wear. Do not pack your summer clothing a lot. Try to put less emphasis on that at the moment. You need some comfortable clothing for your house because you're going to be having heaters at your places. I hope so or rather I pray so then do keep some comfortable clothing with you otherwise just try to keep three to four pair of jeans a formal pair just in case you require for any of your presentations ahead keep a shirt or two that's it and rest of it keep t-shirts and most importantly try to get sweaters or something like henleys or something that are fully covered so you can wear it on top of your thermals and have a jacket on top and you're good to go right now right now the temperature is like minus 18 degrees so when you are going to land here next week, it's going to be brutal. So, you know, just be a little smart about what you're packing. A lot of people, when they pack for Canada, they get all the fancy clothes because they think, yeah, photo kichwaenge, wahan photo kichwaenge. Uh, kuch bhi aisa hone wala hai. You're just going to end up with a fever if you do that. So wear, get yourself comfortable, warm and cozy clothing. That's it. Most importantly, get your undergarment sets right like get yourself seven pairs at least because even if you are going to wash your clothes on a daily basis it does not dry that fast but you are obviously going to do laundry on a weekly basis initially you won't even get time to do that so get yourself enough pairs do not be a conjuice about that thing because you need it hygiene is very important i cannot teach you that right one thing that is very important when it comes to your clothing and apparel is not exactly your clothing but Please get your towels or towels, whatever you say, your towels, whatever you say. Please get it. Please get get at least two of them because here they are little expensive and in d or something you get it for like 99 rupees. So I would suggest that you get those. 
get the ones that dry really fast. Generally use bathing towels like these because they dry really fast and you get those in Dmart for 99 rupees. So I think you need to get these. Otherwise, if you want the snuggly ones, the cozy ones, do get that. But they take a lot of space and I won't recommend that on a personal place. So this is it. Now coming on to your footwear, do not even dare to get your snowshoes from India. Do not make that stupid mistake. Wear it from India and come over here. It's not going to work. Whichever brand it is, whatever it is, it's not going to work. I give it to you in written. So what you can do is you can wear a good shoe. Uh, thermal socks or something take a day or two analyze the market over here and get the shoes that fit your budget I mean someone can buy something like Surreal or North Face Columbia but someone won't be able to buy that so they are going to buy their shoes from Walmart so you need to see what your budget is like and all of them are going to work same so don't worry about it but get your shoes from here otherwise from India just get yourself a comfortable pair of shoe a formal shoe or a heels or something of that sort anything a lady or a guy wants and the third thing you can get is yourself some house slippers i think they are going to work fine here they are of the same cost so you don't have to worry much about such things so one one pair is each and do not get it with the box because they are going to take a lot of space again so just you know keep it together like this and keep it in the corner it's going to how comes your utensils now utensils are really important you cannot be without them of course because you are going to need to make food the most important thing which you can never forget to get from india and in case if you do you are the biggest fool <laughs> or i don't know what to say but you have to get your pressure cookers pressure cookers are really expensive over here and without pressure cooker you cannot live in canada your vegetables are going to be frozen your rice, dal, har cheez usi mein banne wali hai. So bina pressure cooker ke kuch bhi nahi hone wala hai. And pressure cooker is really important because most of the days you're going to eat pulses, dal, or mixed vegetable and rice of that sort. So that saves your time. So do get that. And the second thing you really need is the rolling pin. And niche ka thing, I don't know what it is. So it's the patla balin. We say it in Gujarati like that. So do get that. Otherwise, you're not going to, you know, you won't be able to make your rotis. So that's very important. And the other things you can get is a kadai, a tawa, a frying pan to make your chapatis and everything. A spatula or two is more than enough. Get two, three spoons, two, three forks, a plate, a small plate, a microwavable plate, especially because you're going to get microwaves in your apartment usually. Get two, three bowls or something, a big size one, a small size one. And what you, other things you can get from India which you will not get over here you will get it over here but unnecessarily it's a little expensive try to get a grater and a sieve also because they are going to be like a dollar dollar two dollars over here and it's the same thing in India you can probably get it for like five to ten rupees so if, when it comes to your uh, food and everything try not to get a lot from India like dry snacks and everything because you are going to run out of it initially they are really helpful so what I suggest is you can get something like parathas or theplas or something of that sort. Very little bit. Do not keep it with achar and everything. In case the bottle breaks, all your stuff is gone. It's really, really messy and you won't have time to wash that. So what I suggest is you get ready to eat packets like these. These are the MTR packets and this is paneer butter masala in case if you're wondering what it is. So yeah, it is that. Otherwise, what you can do is you can keep ready-made masala packets like this. So in case if you're not in mood to cook something from the start and everything, you can just use such packets for a pretty good time. And what I suggest is take off the box and keep it inside. The name is given so you won't be confused of what it is. So you can take around like 10 to 11 packets really conveniently. And the first week when you're going to stay in a hotel or Airbnb, please stay in an Airbnb, don't stay in a hotel, irrespective of how rich you are, but still. So this will really help you and another thing I suggest is that you're going to have cravings over here. So get yourself some ready-made chutney packets because they're going to be really helpful. And some of the food is really boring over here. It's not spicy. It's not nice. So try to get yourself Maggi Masala packets because it's going to be really expensive. And here comes the savior, Maggie. So do not forget your Maggie packets, guys. You are going to need it. Even if you don't like something like Maggie, try to get something like instant poha or something. Instant food is your life. 
the first week when you join the university you're going to need all this stuff because you won't have time to cook you'll have to do all your registrations you have to do the scene card thing uh it's a lot guys it's a lot the hell is going to break loose when you come over here so just get yourself some instant stuff that's it now coming on to your spices whatever spices you are getting if you're getting it from a local vendor, make sure to tell him to do NRI packing on it. That means he'll double pack it with a sticker saying what it is about, like whether it is a garam masala or, you know, chili powder or something of that sort. Otherwise, get the ready-made masala packets. I think that is good to go. Good enough. You're going to get everything from here. But from the start, if you don't want to spend, especially if you don't have a job or a GIC, it's better if you get something from your home. If some of you are tea drinkers like me, you cannot live without chai, then get your chai packets because the chai is really expensive over here. Secondly, if you want something like masala chai, get the masalas from home. Uh, otherwise, it gets really difficult. So get yourself that. Going on to your medicines. Now, medicines are going to be really important. Even if you don't fall sick over here, hardly any of us have fallen sick till now. Only when there is a drastic temperature change, some of us will get flu. I guess everyone will get a flu, but still. So what you can do is that you can get medicines for body aches, for allergies, for whatever you are suffering from or you think you can suffer from, common cold and all that stuff. In case girls have a lot of menstrual problems, they can get medicines of that too. Please, please get your Vicks Vapor Rub. It is very expensive over here. So do get all of it and get a prescription along. So do keep a prescription in your bag as well as your file set. So because it's going to be really important in case if they check your bags, they need to see the prescription when they're checking the medicines. Otherwise, they are going to think that you are, you know, smuggling your medicines as drugs or something. So it's not allowed. So get as many medicines as you want but just keep a prescription along. That's During this process, do not forget the simple things like rubber bands, staplers, and a punching thing. What was that thing? But I hope you understand. To punch, there's this device. Oh, I cannot remember it. So the punching thing, please get it. So you will be needing basic thing, uh, things like that, pins and everything. Uh, but do remember to keep scissors very important do remember scissors and cutters do remember to keep all of this in your uh, regular luggage not in your cabin luggage because if they find it out in your cabin luggage and not your check-in luggage they're going to throw it away in front of you and that's quite a wastage of money again you'll have to come to canada and buy it so please be careful of that do your miscellaneous stuff do not forget your spectacles if you have it because here it's going to be really difficult Get your bed sheet, your pillow covers, your cushion covers in case if you're into house decor and something of that sort. Do not get huge storage containers or storage boxes. You won't be needing it. Canada has plenty of options for that. Start to bring your blankets from India. You can get it over here. It's going to be a little expensive, but that's fine because when you get it from India, it is going to eat up a lot of space and you won't be able to bring the useful stuff. So in case if three bags are allowed to you, Get your blankets, otherwise you're going to get it from here. Just bring some heavy sheet over here because you're going to live with a heater and you won't even need a blanket or anything. Most important part, guys, cannot do without this is your documents, your certificates and your documents. You won't be able to cross the Canadian border, go from this side also in case if you don't have your offer letters, your visa letter, that is your correspondence letter. Do not forget your correspondence letter. So in case any of you is coming to Quebec, like me, you need your CAQ as well. So you need your offer letter, you need your passport with the stamp, you need your correspondence letters, your CAQ, your medical report that you have been, you know, passed out of everything. It's completely fine. Keep your IELTS score, or scorecard, I was saying scorecard, scorecard handy. Also keep all your original certificates with you. Remember when you're coming from India, get all the certificates, get multiple copies of it, get it attested, true copy and everything, get it attested because here again, photostats and photocopying is quite, quite expensive. When that is passed, you have to, have to, have to have that. Also, you have cash also with you. And when I say cash, uh, do not keep 500,000 rupees ka note with you. Keep your regular Canadian dollars or USTs with you because they work everywhere. 
they're going to be fine and do not forget a forex card in and i forgot one thing with your financial document you have to keep your gic as well your gic is very important because that is your way of telling the canadian government that you can live on your own financially for this much amount 